Welcome and thank you for joining us. I'm Kennedy Holland. And I'm Jay Brumsey. This is Washita News. A drought swept through Arkansas last week and now thankfully many burn bans have been lifted. However, this still affected Arkansas's forest. Josh Engel has more. Arkansas is facing a very dry season. A lack of rain and a lack of humidity have created a bigger danger for potential wildfires. We burned, accumulated about 31,700 acres of wildfires so far this calendar year, which makes this year the largest uh, year for fires in Arkansas since 2011. Most of the state is experiencing some level of drought right now. Statistically, Arkansas has been long overdue for a dry year. Dry and wet seasons usually last for about seven years, but this time things are different. The last 10 years has been very wet since 2013 and up until last year. This is the first dry year we've had that we can claim it's been fairly dry. Wildfires have been more common in Arkansas this year than in the past 10 years. It isn't an increase in heat though that's causing our problems. It's the lack of humidity. We've had a series of low relative humidity days. So when the relative humidity gets below 30%, it's dry. It feels good. I mean, it's great to be outside, but uh, it also dries out all those fuels. Wildfires in Arkansas are not nearly as big as those in western states. However, the drought is making smaller fires more widespread in the south. There's a 100% chance we're going to get more fire this year in Arkansas. Now, the question is, how much is it going to rain for the rest of the year? And nobody really can answer that. Arkansas recently got a large amount of rain late last week, with many people getting about an inch of rain. However, these wildfires will continue unless we keep getting more rain throughout the state. With the extremely dry conditions, fire danger is something that people need to be keeping in mind. However, according to Joe, people in Arkansas have done well at preventing fires. Our citizens are doing a really good job of being aware of, of their surroundings, not flicking the cigarette out, in, on the interstate or any other road and being sure that they park in a safe place and not in dry grass. Things are looking pretty different this year. As the ground dries up, our Kansans need to make sure that they are being safe with fire outside. For Washita News, I'm Joshua Engel. Thanks, Josh. Washita Singers held a special event with the Arkansas Master Singers. Haley Shore participated in the event and has more on this unique opportunity. Today I'm here in JPAC where later tonight at 7 o'clock the Master Singers will be coming together to put on a concert of worship here at Washita. The Washita Singers and the Washita Worship students will be joining them later tonight. Let's see what they have to say. Before the big performance, the Master Singers enjoyed a dinner on campus provided by Sodexo. President Ben Sells had a few words to say about the partnership Washita has with this unique ensemble. We come from the Arkansas Baptist churches. You know, we have a 137-year partnership with Arkansas Baptist, so we're delighted to welcome these men and women from churches who share a passion for worship and music, which is important to us as well. The Arkansas Master Singers is a group made up of worship pastors, their spouses, of other church staff members, uh, are, and choir members that have been uh, recommended from their church. And they join together from all points of the state about five times a year, and they get to do what they're doing here. The fellowship is fantastic, and they love to sing. After the dinner, the choir took the stage to perform a few classic worship pieces. Let's take a closer look at what the concert entailed.
Well, it looks like the event was a great success, so be sure to tune in next year. But it should be posted on Washtenaw's website if you missed out and you were a little sad. But it was a great concert of worship. Back to you guys in the studio. Wow, such a neat event. Thank you to the Master Singers for coming to Washita. This week we've had some rain. As we learned earlier, our burn ban has lifted just in time for bonfire season. But Caroline, what is the weather looking like this week? Kennedy and Jay, it's going to be a beautiful fall week starting today with a high of 76 and a low of 53. It's going to warm up the last half of the week as Thursday starts off with temperatures in the high 70s. Now Friday has a high of 81 and a low of 59 and the weekend won't be quite as warm as Saturday showers can be expected in the morning with a 65% chance of precipitation and a high of 72 and a low of 46. Now Sunday will have clear skies and the precipitation chances are low. The temperatures are cooling off early next week as Monday and Tuesday both have highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s. Now, as Kennedy mentioned earlier, it is bonfire season and this weekend would be a great time for that fall activity. But as always, burn responsibly and safely. Predictions are by AccuWeather. That's your Washita Weather Watch. Washita Athletics are having an exciting week as always. Katie Beth Dunn has our Roar Rundown. Welcome to the Roar Rundown. It has been an exciting week in Washita Athletics, so let's get into it. The Washita football team has clinched at least a share of the 2022 Great American Conference Championship on Thursday night with a come from behind 28 to 18 win over East Central University. Washita, currently 9-0, used a pair of interceptions late in the fourth to its advantage to preserve the team's perfect season. Andrew Hayes came up with the first interception after ECU was backed up to its own three-yard line on a 60-yard punt by Joe Couch, allowing the Tigers the opportunity to regain the lead. TJ Cole finished the night with 22 carries for 103 yards and three touchdowns, setting a new school record for career touchdowns with a new total of 44. Cole broke Brockton Brown's record of 43 that was set from 2016 to 2019. Congratulations to Cole, Hayes, Couch, and the Washita football team. The Washtenaw men's soccer team went on the road for the final time of the 2022 season on Thursday, resulting in a 5-1 loss to Southern Nazarene University. The team played their senior day match Saturday and closed out the final game of the season 3-2 to the Harding Bisons. Congratulations to the men's soccer team on a wonderful season. The Washtenaw women's soccer team wrapped up the 2022 regular season on Thursday with a 1-0 road win over East Central. The Tigers ended the regular season on a streak of 10 consecutive games without a loss, going 5-0-5 to zero to five down the stretch. The Tigers will be competing in the 2022 Great American Conference Championship Tournament November 3rd to, through 5th in Weatherford, Oklahoma. Congratulations and good luck to the women's soccer team. Washtenaw Volleyball sent their seniors out with a sweep over Arkansas Tech. This marks the first time since 1996 that Washtenaw has swept Arkansas Tech twice in the same season. It's also the first season since 2012 that Washita has swept rival Henderson State twice in the same year. In the Arkansas Tech game, Riley Brazel led the offense with 14 kills on the night with a .400 hitting percentage. Carly Ferguson was right behind with 13 kills and a .524 hitting percentage. The 13 kills are a career high for Ferguson. Congratulations to Washita Volleyball and their seniors. Be sure to tune in next week as we recap Battle of the Ravines in the past. And that's all for today. I'm Katie Beth Dunn, and this is the Roar Rundown. Thank you, Katie Beth. Twerp will host its final three events this week, starting tomorrow with tri -Kai 80s Night. Bring your neon, hoops, and more to the Tiger Den and jam out with tri -Kai. Friday night is the Kai Delta Carnival, complete with popcorn, treats, and games. Last, Gamify's Angels in the Outfield will take place Saturday night. So wear your jerseys, angel wings, and more, and have a great time with Gamify. This weekend is shaping out to be a great one, Kennedy. It really is, Jay. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next week.